Hey, what's going on everybody? So I have another video tutorial here I want to share with you guys on how to download and install Android Studio onto a Windows computer. Now you guys may have found this video from a new link that I provided on an old video where I showed you how to download the ADT bundle for Windows. You're no longer going to download the ADT bundle. What you'll find now is what is called Android Studio and that is compatible with 64-bit and 32-bit versions of Windows. Now for this tutorial I am using Windows 8.1 Pro 64-bit. So if there's any questions or comments guys leave that stuff below and I'll answer you as soon as I can this includes the platform tools which I use to show you guys how to flash images and stuff so you want to always make sure you are up to date now I am not migrating or updating from the ADT bundle I've uninstalled all that stuff entirely and I'm starting over fresh just like I'm showing you here so we'll go ahead and get started what you want to do guys is go to Google and search Android developers and once you get there you click this link here at the top Android developers at the top click develop and under that click tools you're gonna get Android Studio and this includes SDK tools so this has the platform tools in it and that's where I use like ADB and the fastboot tool and things like that to flash cut like images and stuff onto my Android device and the videos I make so this is more geared for the Android lollipop platform so what you want to do here is click this big green square read all that stuff accept that down here and then click download now over here in my desktop I already downloaded it so you guys can go ahead and start downloading that and at the same time one more thing you need is what is called Java developer kit and they provided a link here so under over here like where it says download you can see where it says installing SDK click that click this Android studio tab and you can come right over here and there's a link and it says go download JDK so that takes you right to Oracle's website where you can choose the standard edition download here Java platform JDK right here we will click that and then if you scroll down you will see it says Java SE development kit so you need to click the dial here or tick the dial and accept license and agreements and then of course download the version over here that applies to you the Windows 86 is 32 bit and of course that's 64 bit so I'm gonna go ahead and get started downloading mine now I'll be right back with you guys as soon as that gets done downloading okay guys so that is done downloading I'm simply going to click it and start the Java installation here and just go ahead and walk right on through this leaving everything set like it is normal and just install this onto my Windows computer here and it just wants us to change the default location I'm going to leave it right there in the program files Java JRE 18025 click next so leaving it in its default location there and that's pretty much it for Java so I'm gonna close out of that and that's as simple as that is now once you download the Android Studio which I have done over here on the desktop go ahead and double click that to start that installation as well and I'm pretty sure I leave everything in here as default and down here this is important I'll show you a little in a little bit a little trick to finding the platform tools folder which is hidden by default usually and so that's an important location right there and we'll create a shortcut to the desktop that will help you out so I leave all that as default click next and install and I know this is gonna have to download and do some like um, updating and stuff which can take a little bit of time so I will probably pause that part out of the video just to speed things up but you may be stuck sitting and waiting for this program to complete like downloading all the up-to-date stuff so we'll just give this a minute here to go through and install and I will be right back as soon as this finishes okay guys so I've got this far here it says installation complete I'm going to go ahead and click next on that and it says start Android Studio now I believe that it's going to want to download all kinds of updates so I'm going to click finish and see if it will start up okay and we'll just give it just a moment here to start
Okay, so I did get an error message here, and this is what I wanted to show you guys. It says, no JVM installation found. What I'm going to do is click OK, because if you guys get that error, I'm going to show you what you should probably do. Now, I'm not sure what version of Windows you guys are running, but I'm on Windows 8.1, and I have an icon here that says this PC. Now, you may have an icon there that says my computer, or it may say computer. What you want to do is right-click that icon and go to properties, and then you want to come down to advanced settings. You want to get into your system properties here, guys, and then you want to go into your environment variables here. And what we need to do here is actually add the path in for Java. Okay, so this is how you correct that error message if you guys get it. You go down here to where it says system variables and click new. Now, what you're going to type in under the one there that says variable name is um, just like I'm doing it, Java underscore home. And then under that, you're going to simply put the path in to JDK. So for the for the variable value, you, you put that in. Now, this part here is going to be whatever you guys have installed, whatever version you guys have installed. It may The numbers may be different. So what I mean by that is if I go into my computer here and go to my C drive, oops, oop, clicked on my thing. Hold on just a minute. And I go into go to my C drive, and you want to go to program files here. And then what you do is come down and find Java. And then, of course, whatever version you're running is what you would put in to this little, you know, end part here, the little, the rest of the numbers here. So whatever your numbers are, you put those numbers in there. Then what you do is click OK and check to make sure that is in the list. Right there it is, Java Home. So we're good there. We can click OK and then close out of that. And now what we want to do, guys, is open up. Now you can open up and click on your Android Studio icon and open Android Studio up. And it should start working just fine for you. So that is one little bug there that sometimes you have to correct in order to get Android Studio to open up. Now I'm going to pause this because this is going to sit and download. As soon as this is done, I'll get right back to you and show you a couple more little things. And then we'll finish up. Okay, guys. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So it probably took you a little bit there to download all that stuff, but you should be at this screen here where you can at least click finish. And there is Andrew, uh, Android Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. And I just wanna show you one more thing to create a shortcut and how to find your platform tools. So now that you have Android Studio installed, just go to my computer here, double click your this PC icon or my computer or computer icon there. And you wanna go on your C drive and then go into your user account, which my user account is Jamie and it's right there. Now in here, you're looking for a folder called app data. If you don't see that folder in here, what you wanna do from here is go ahead and select view if you're on a Windows 8.1 system here. Go to over here to options and then you wanna get into your folder options here. The folder is hidden by default. So the center tab here is view and then you wanna pull down the slider here and here it says show hidden files, folders, and drives. You wanna check mark that. It says hide empty drives. I would uncheck that and hide extensions for known file types. I would uncheck that because I don't see why we would wanna hide anything. So do all that stuff there and click apply. So you can click okay. And then of course you'll see now there's a folder here called app data. Double click app data and then go into local and then go into Android and go into SDK and down here you'll find platform tools. So there are your platform tools. There's Fastboot and ADB. So if you just click back, you can actually right click on that, send to create shortcut and that should pop up a shortcut. Let me drag it over right to your desktop, which I kind of go through it quickly there and just, you know, like rename it just platform tools. So, and then I'll take out that little dash and I can just put a space. Okay, so there's my platform tools, guys. So that's how I do my videos and that's, you know, how I'm able to copy the platform tools over and things like that. So now I can go in here and highlight all those, download, you know, a Nexus factory image like Lollipop here in this folder, and then I can go into the folder here and paste all my tools in there. So that is pretty much it, guys. You should have Android Studio on your computer now, and there are your platform tools. So, you know, I hope that stuff really helps you guys out. If this video helped you out at all, please click thumbs up or subscribe. And again, it was 
for people who may be running into some issues there. Some of us may not be. There may be other methods to this, but this is just how I do it. And that works good for me going right in there the manual way. And again, if I go into my user account here, you know, now you can see app data. I never understood why they hide all these files, but I liked everything showing so I know where all my stuff is. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And you guys have a good one. See ya.